At Lalamond Baking, our mission is to raise baking standards. And while there's a lot of science involved, it's also an art, the art of fermentation. Since the early 19th century, Lalamond has been producing yeast, which is a living microorganism, probably the oldest one known to man. But that hasn't stopped us from consistently introducing innovations to improve the productivity and performance of yeast in a variety of industrial applications. So here's how it works. It starts with a single cell fungus. We'll call it the mother cell. It divides and produces a daughter cell. How fast that happens can vary from two hours in a lab to four hours in a yeast fermenter. There are a number of environmental conditions that affect cell reproduction, like oxygen levels, other microbes, the temperature, nutrients that might be added, stress factors or chemical inhibitors, and the pH. A pure yeast cell is mixed with water and nutrients used to create an initial liquid culture in a tube. As the cells multiply, that liquid is transferred to a flask. As the process continues, the cells are transferred to larger and larger environments. The purpose of each scale-up is to increase the biomass, to get enough yeast for production. In fact, what started out in that small tube can produce 500,000 pounds of yeast. The yeast produced can be made into four different forms of product. By running yeast through a centrifuge, cream yeast is produced. With further processing through a vacuum filter, you get compressed or cake yeast. Take out even more moisture with a fluid bed dryer, and you get dry yeast. At Lalamond, we take pride in the quality of our work and our products. That's why we test rigorously for purity, flavor, aroma, and so much more before the yeast gets to you. We believe in and invest in the art of fermentation, so you can take your art to a whole new level.